In the essential guys of soca, music writer Jesse Server describes Bashment Soka as soca with the plucky piano driven rhythms of the late 80s and early 90s dance hall. Which is interesting because Raga Soka is also described as Soka meets dance hall, like in Raga Soka Burning the Moral Compass by senior lecturer at Cipriani College, Megan Sylvester, who described it as a fusion of Soka and Jamaican dance hall and to a lesser extent reggae beats and Soka rhythms. Which makes Bashman Soka and Raga Soka sound like the same thing. Though I do not agree with Sylvester's definition, but I came back to that. I feel like every time I bring this up to people, they say that the first Bashman Soka song was Hard Wine by Lil Ray. And I used to agree. But Sarah defines Power Soka as Soka with tempos typically above 160 beats per minute, and quotes Trinidadian music producer Casey Phillips as saying that Power Soka gives vigorous instructions and keeps the energy levels very high. Now that's only hard one, right? But then Shira also describes Bathroom Soka in Awadis, Bathroom Soka is a new song of Young Barbados as having largely instructional lyrics. A song being Bathroom can be based on its geographic location, its age, and pretty much what the artist feels like characterizing their music as. So this is not going to be the easiest thing to break down. To me, there are distinct differences between Bathroom Soka and Power Soka, and Bathroom Soka and Raga Soka. For starters, the beats per minute of Bathroom Soka can vary. It can be anywhere from 100 to about 160 beats per minute. With Power Soka, you will not find sounds slower than 150 beats per minute. Lyrical delivery is also very different. Bashman is a lot more aggressive in tone than Power Soka, and it is a lot more chanted than sung. Both genres have a similar lyrical content, but the delivery is very different. It's a lot more difficult to articulate the differences between Bashman Soka and Raga Soka though. After listening to the two, it's very easy to tell them apart, but actually saying it's different. In the essential guide to Soka, Shira quotes the king of Raga Soka, Bungie Garland, as saying that Raga Soka started in Jamaica with Byron Lee and the Dragonairs, calling their music like a regular Soka, but the bass would have been Jamaica flavored. Now, this brings me to where I disagree with Sylvester's definition of Raga Soka. To me, it's a fusion of Soka and reggae, not dancehall. Byron Lee and the Dragonairs were a ska reggae clips on Soka band, they never played dancehall. Bashman Soka is somewhat difficult to describe, but definitely has some very recognizable features. Typically, bass heavy, boom tick tick drums, and simple melodies. Chanting, like in dance hall, and lyrics that are just synonyms of walking up, getting on your head top, going behind your truck, etc. Some examples of typical Bashman Soka sounds are Bremen Glide by Mole, Gadon by Lil Rick, and Boom Flake by Salt. Although these sounds all have drastically different BPMs, it is impossible to deny the Bashman element I just described after even the quickest of listen. While these artists are chanting in these sounds, they still retain and amplify their Bajan accent. This helps distinguish Bashman Soka from Bajan Dance Hall, which has more of a Jamaican twang or accent. I'm going to disagree and say that Hardwine cannot be the first Bashman Soka song. It does have a Bashi vibe, but it wasn't made as a Bashman Soka song. There have been a lot of advances in the genre that make it too distinct from Hardwine for me to say that Hardwine is a Bashman Soka song. So let today be the day I throw my hat in the ring and let one know the first Bashman Soka song is either Gadon by Lil Rick or Work by Lil Rick. It is no gospel. In 2016, the 4D Entertainment Bashman Soka competition was born. Since its inception, the competition has come with a little bit of controversy. A Nation News editorial, Bashman Soka Not Our Culture, called the genre an obnoxious aberration with no moral compass and no Barbadian nexus. They went on to state, the introduction of Bashman Soka introduces the abandonment of traditional and meaningful lyrics. This has always been a major critique of the genre. Since, to me at least, there's always been a divide when it comes to walkout culture in Barbados. Bashman is synonymous with revelry, drinking, and getting on the worst. There are people who argue that walking out is vulgar, immoral, and a stain on Barbados' otherwise family-friendly nature. They would say Bashman Soka is problematic for our image because it's tied with our biggest summer festival crop over. On the other hand, however, some people say that walking is a part of Caribbean culture, a way to celebrate freedom which crop over is all about. Regardless of what you think, Bashman Soka is becoming more accepting in Barbados and the wider world. Marzo's Bang Bang music video has crossed 10 million views on YouTube. The genre is ever changing, yet it still retains the same that's all core is based on. For me, the Bashman elements in Power Soka has deviated for the most part. Well, Raga Soka has retained its reggae elements and evolved into Groovy Soka. The dancehall though that gone to the younger, bad behaved little brother, Bashman Soka.